Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to the Azure On Air podcast. Um, we're at the Integrate Summit today, and I'm joined by James Reed from West Coast Cloud. Thank you for joining me, James. Yes, no, thank you very much. So uh, James was on stage with me speaking today um, about Turbo 360 and about cost management. And West Coast Cloud are one of the biggest CSPs in the UK, and you, you guys have loads of MSPs and, yeah. and customers that you work with. And, mm -hmm. and you, you really started talking to us about how to manage um, cost management, which is, we, we, you know, we've had such a good journey um, the last few months that we wanted to kind of talk a little bit about this on the podcast. Um, yeah, of course. So J James, just catch us up with, um, you know, what, what you guys do, where you're coming from, why you started talking to us at Turbo360. Yeah, of course. So, um, yeah, as you said, we're one of the largest and oldest CSPs in the country. Um, 400 or so partners, uh, four and a half million in Azure. ACR comes through our books every month. Um, FinOps has been front of mind. Um, in my opinion, uh, the days of Azure being just developers stepping their toes in the water is kind of behind us. Mm. We've got big partners now and they're building big Azure practices out. Um, and with size comes complexity. With com complexity comes cost challenges. Now, of course, there's only so much that you know a single Power BI report can do for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we really needed um, also just to stay competitive, but we also we really needed a decent FinOps tool that offered a lot more than just a you know, just a shiny coat of paint really on the date we already had. Because I mean, we have tools available to us already. That would do the sort of the read only stuff, but um, yeah, myself, uh, Mitch, and Harley, who you've you've met, yeah. um, we went out and we demoed a lot of different tools. We come across Turbo, and I remember doing sort of demo with yourself and, and Chris, um, and me and Mitch especially were blown away with how um, how much more you can do with Turbo. So for me, the the really standout um, bit, and the bit I, I love demoing personally, is the scheduling. So to be able to set up uh, like a complicated schedule for a number of different services in minutes. Yeah. I mean, I know it's sort of behind the scenes with all the work you've done. It's, it's obviously a lot of very complicated stuff, but for me, sort of as a salesman, I suppose, being able to go, look, I can, I can turn this machine on and off like that. And, so on, and this is what it will save me. And this is it, yeah. it do it for me. It's been phenomenal. So yeah, I think front of mind has been, has been turbo. Um, I mean, our diaries, if you could see them, it's its nothing but turbo demos and deployments. So, yeah, we love it. We've had nothing but amazing feedback from all our customers. So tell, me, um, tell me about the MSPs you work with them. So why, why does it mm. make a difference to them to, to have something to help them do cost management and fill ups? Yep. So the biggest question with cloud, people who use cloud are going to get, is how much is it going to cost? Mm. And how do I control it? They're, they're going to be getting those questions from their customers. As, as an indirect, we work with MSPs as resellers, yeah. right? So having a tool like Turbo can allay a lot of those questions. Um, so we found that, as I said before, where we've where these MSPs are building out bigger practices, um, they're getting bigger and bigger clients with mm -hmm. far more complicated requirements. Mm -hmm. um, we have some working with in the financial sector and the legal sector. These are all you know sensitive clients. So being able to give them the amount of data, the amount of sort of useful features that Turbo does, um, it's, it helps them, it sets them apart. It sets our, our, our partners apart in, in a noisy market. Yeah, yeah. So being able to, yeah, being able to do this, it's been fantastic. But yeah, they've, um, as, as they've progressed, or as our partners have progressed through their journey, a lot of them have become very, very, very astute with Azure. And that means bigger, more complex um, deployments. Right, so the days of just simple bits of infrastructure are kind of behind us to a point. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And as we as things grow more complex, billing, you know, can potentially spiral. So yeah, having having Turbo in the back pocket is it's amazing. I guess I guess the other big thing is um, these, com the, you know, these MSPs they can't get enough good people for what they need to do anyway. So oh, absolutely, anything that like frees their resources up and yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, yeah, skilling up especially in Azure, is difficult. Mm. Um, skilling up enough to get your partner designations is a whole other level. That's a whole other thing. Um, a lot of our partners are well on the way to it, but some of them do struggle. They struggle to hire the staff. They struggle to sort of get onto that journey. Now, we offer training platforms. We've got our Thrive program and stuff like that at West Coast Cloud. Um, 
but it, it's time and investment, right? Yes, it's, yeah. it's the same story across the market. So yeah, they can Turbo can take some of that load off. Um, again, you can have people that, you may have someone that administers Azure, but they're not an architect, right? They don't have the 104, yeah. they're, not, they're not doing high scale stuff. But if we go back to that scheduling tool, they can go, well, look, okay, we can turn resources on and off, we can scale them up and down, um, and I can do it because it's very simple to work out. Yeah, they're yeah, not having to sit. They're doing script and need. Yeah, they're not doing functions. They're not doing PowerShell stuff like that. Yeah. It's just there for them. Yeah. So what about what about on the sales side? You were telling me some really cool stuff in the breakouts about the way your mm. MSPs can use Table Three Hundred and Sixty to help them on, on like pre-sales activities. Yes. Yes. So we've um, within the first couple of weeks, Turbo managed to win business for one of our partners. Mm -hmm. So what we've been doing um, with your team's help is. Our partners can go out to a prospect. They can set Turbo up. It can put in the data for them, and then that that PowerPoint that it kicks out the um, uh, the sort of the unbranded one with the optimization details. They can use that in their own pitch decks. Mm -hmm. So when they're going into the boardroom with all the C, C suite staff, uh, they've got proper data. It's not just you know finger in the air. We'll save a bit of cash. It's yeah, yeah. it's been it's provable, repeatable stuff, and that has already had tangible benefits. It's it's already one business. I have calls lined up this week for the same thing. Like we have, I have one partner just using it for prospecting. At the moment, it's all we're doing is with its prospecting. Yeah, it's really cool to hear. Yeah. So yeah. what uh, what do you guys think um, now? You've onboarded. You've got a number of partners on. Hmm. What's next for you guys in terms of the growth you'd like to see? You know, and, and if we think mainly in the FinOps and cost management side of the, the business that you guys run, yep. partners. We want to, first off, we want to focus on getting everyone on it. Mm. Like at this point, if you've got a big Azure practice, we think it's mandatory really to have a decent FinOps tool. And West Coast Cloud are offering it out for free to all our partners anyway. So we're really pushing to get everyone on there. After that, I think helping partners that focus in those sectors, in the finance mm. sector, the legal sector, stuff like that, helping them put together go-to-market practices, including Turbo, with our help. Yeah, I think that would be the good next step. And then start start bringing that business in, um, start reaching out to, especially um, Greenfield Azure as well, like big yeah. big financial houses that have looked at cloud and gone, mm, how much it costs though? How do we control costs yeah, stuff like yeah. this? We can now go to them with a really tangible tool and say, look, yeah. you can control this. It's, you know, the time is now. So, um, so one of the questions I like to ask you, I think it's, um, it's a slightly awkward question, but I, I like asking <laughs> awkward questions. So as a CSP, your <laughs> business is all based around customers consuming Azure. Yes. Why do you want a tool that's going to reduce the amount of potential consumption they're going to have? Because that sounds like a contradiction. I think we, we come across mm. that a few times. So it'd be great to hear what your thoughts yeah, are. Yeah, we do. That. It does cost us money. <laughs> this is a short answer. Um, we are a value add CSP. We're not really a box shifter. Mm. So we like to build a long-term relationship with our partners. Now, to be blunt, offering them a tool like this does make them a bit stickier. Mm. You're giving them ongoing value to sort of keep them on board. Ultimately, someone's spending 10% less a month, but they're still spending it with you every month. Mm. It's better than nothing, yeah. I suppose. And, but also, something that you touched on in your keynote, um, being able to free up wasted capital in Azure. So if they're spending five grand a month on disks, like you said, stuff like that, or they're running databases overnight and they're doing nothing at all, you can free up that capital and then we can roll that into education to the partners and say, look, you've now got this spend. You're only using 1% of what Azure can do. Mm -hmm. um, why not think about serverless, headless computing, so you know, any, any number of applications. So rolling that capital back into Azure um, or rolling into training or running back to the business. Um, it helps maintain that relationship. Yeah. Um, but yeah, ultimately we, we, we're going to see a dip, but it's, you know, spend money to make money. I suppose. Yeah. I think, I think it's one of those things, isn't it? Where the customers spend their money, but they want to feel like they get value back for it. Yeah. And I think we never want we never want them to feel like we're just selling them stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, you buy your licenses. Cool. Right. See you next week. But find out. Yeah. We never want to build that sort of relationship with them. So we can say, look, we can, this tool will help you save money. Yes, it's raised a few eyebrows before, um, mm. but we want you to save money and keep working with us yeah, and yeah. grow and naturally you grow. In the, you will be spending more money as you grow, but you're spending it properly. You're not wasting it. 
Yeah, and I think that's that's kind of the fundamental underlying thing, isn't it? About yeah. you know we we spend money, we get something back for, and if we've got waste, we can claw that back and reinvest it exactly, into something. Yeah. You know, like like we keep saying, the new AI projects customers want to do. Yeah. Those investments become so much easier if you can reallocate funds into something that that's really working for you than having to exactly. sort of find new budgets from somewhere else and, and take away from other departments, which would be uh, exactly that. And with um, new projects as well, you've um, as you've got that budget for it, but you're not repeating yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. you're not you've come out of a cycle of wasting money, yeah, because of Turbo and it's helped you do that. You're not going to go into another cycle of wasting money. You're going yeah. to be investing that property because you can control your costs. Yeah. So do you find um, with the MSPs, I, I always talk about the idea of, um, you, you would have seen it in my slides, the gardener idea. So mm. to me, the Table 360 is the law where your MSPs can provide the gardener service where they just kind of keep sort of trimming the weeds yeah, and yeah. Cut, cutting the grass and stuff. Do you find that for the MSP, that's a great value add service they can give to their customer, but also it's a way for them to really deepen a relationship, get that trusted advisor relationship as well. Is that work in the way you would hope? Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 both ends of the scale as well. Mm. So we work with huge MSPs. They dwarf us for size mm. and for man count. Um, they will have dedicated people to do this. What we're giving them with Turbo is, is the lawnmower, I suppose, in that analogy. But the other end of the scale, we work with equally important, you know, two or three man bands. I mean, I work with one partner that's, that's two brothers, and that's it. Yeah. So you're giving them almost another staff member with the capabilities that it's got. Um, so yeah, we, we are definitely finding that and we're definitely finding it's across the, the spectrum as well. Brilliant. Um, I think we're just hitting the end of the podcast there, cool. James. I really appreciate your time today and mm. thanks for coming in to chat to us about That's how you guys have got on. And uh, we look forward to hearing the rest of the journey as, as we progress on our relationship between West Coast Cloud and Turbo 360. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you, mate.